Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I'm showing you another pen review and this is another Caveco pen and you know that I am a little bit addicted. Today I'm showing you the Caveco collection Iguana Blue. This pen was sent to me by Caveco for review so thank you so much. I had the chance to make an unboxing and I think before anyone else on YouTube and today I'm showing you the pen in more detail mostly for color comparisons than for a real review of the pen because you can have lots of reviews of Caveco pens here in my channel and many of them are really the same, just small variations in the finish and in the color. So this Caveco collection is a limited edition in time and Caveco is releasing them in a with a worldwide range. These pens are identified with the engraving Caveco collection instead of Caveco Sport, for example, if it is a Caveco Sport. This one is a Caveco Sport. So, um, what do I have to tell you? This one comes inside a, a box, a tin box, and it has these um, out, this outer uh, sleeve to with the color matching the color of the pen. In one side it says Caveco Collection, the other one has the usual Caveco uh, look, but it has the usual Caveco look is black, not this color. The tin is the older model of the golden colored tin. You open this, you have the little sticker, the black one. You have the little booklet with the history of Caveco in one side and with the warranty on the other and then you have the pen inside a plastic sleeve that you take out, you put this away and here we have the pen. This pen is so called Caveco Collection Iguana Blue. It is a very interesting color in my opinion. So, what is a Caveco Sport? The Caveco Sport is a short, not that short, but it's a short pocket pen that is mostly a cylindrical pen with a cap that comes off, with, in, this, in this case it comes off with one turn and it is mostly a cylindrical pen with a screw cap you have an hourglass shaped section the pen is short but you can write with it like this if you prefer to have a full-size pen, you put the cap on the back, you post the pen and you can write with it perfectly as if it was a full-size pen. You have a small number 5 nib that can be, can be like this, made of steel, gold-plated. It can be made of... Um, steel with natural color, it can be made of steel with black coating, it can be made of gold, natural color, gold with two-tone and gold with uh, rhodium, rhodium plated. So you have lots of variations. In this case the pen comes with gold medallion on top of the cap, with gold engraving or more like an imprint on the side of the cap in one of the eight facets that the cap has. So the, the barrel is cylindrical and the facet is, the cap is has eight fac, uh, kind of octagonal. And when you unscrew the section, you have uh, you have room for a cartridge or a short Caveco uh, converter, and you have even the the nib is branded with Caveco logo there and the feed is also branded with Caveco logo it's very hard to focus with this new phone you see there this one it has the uh, cartridge the converter but it doesn't come with the converter this pen comes only with one cartridge of royal blue ink but I decided to put the converter so be aware it doesn't come with this converter this converter however is quite short and it doesn't have a very huge amount of ink 
but sometimes I find it fun to, to use them. So be aware if you're looking for the pen, if it doesn't come with a converter, it's the normal way. This pen will cost you almost 80 euros, which is the regular price for a Caveco Sport made of aluminium. So this is an aluminium pen. Usually the Caveco Sport made of aluminium is called AL Sport. In this case, because it is from the Caveco collection, this name is what is enough to call the pen. This is Caveco collection, Iguana Blue. So, let's go for a bit of... Um, let's put it here, for a bit of uh, context. The Caveco collection, I showed this on the on the other one, on the, the other that was released, so this is kind of a repetition. So the, the context is this, uh, in 2020 there was a pen, the, this one, the Caveco Collector's Edition Coral, in 2020 was released for our Facebook group called Cavec Collectors and Users and it had the Cavec Sport engraving there in blind engraving so no it's not filled with any kind of paint and on the next facet so in two adjacent facets it has Collectors Edition so this pen was made for the group it, it, is, it was made in this coral color but it was quite successful and because it was so successful uh, Cavec decided to make the pen uh, make make more units and create more uh, make this kind of a collection with all with several variations throughout time so this was the first 2020 it's not yet called cafe collection just collector's edition but in 2021 there was the light lavender which is light lavender plastic with chrome trim the vibrant violet which is violet an al sport with gold trim the same year the dark olive plastic dark olive color usually the colors are very well exp explained by the names and gold trim then there was the Cyan plastic with chrome trim and finally in 2021 the special red which was the first Caveco collection pen that was made based not on the Caveco Sport model but on the Caveco special then in 2022 so this year there was it was released this one it's really really an interesting pen an interesting color finish however you want to call it it is plastic with an iridesc iridescent pearl look to it and chrome trim the lilliput green which is also a very nice green made of aluminium but on a lilliput model and finally the sorry i should block the exposure because this is getting crazy sorry about that i forgot um and we have the this one which is the mellow blue that was released at the same time as the iguana blue it has chrome trim in a plastic body so this is the wool collection of Cavec collection pens so we have one two three four five six seven this is not one of those so seven made of plastic and two made uh, no sorry seven made with the sport model and two made with one lilliput and one the special and this one is like the pre-history of the series let's take these all out of the way and now let me show you which the comparison with other blue pens by Caveco first I will show you the comparison with a pen that's not by Caveco which is the Pacific Blue on the Lamy All Star and it's different this one has more green in it but it's very hard to show and also the finish is the matte 
finish, not a shiny one like on the Lamy. But Lamy will come back for the size comparisons. I will just show you these compared with other Caveco Sport pens made of metal and that are blue. There is the AL Sport blue. This is a color that is no longer made. It, it has been discontinued, it has this matte finish, like this one, chrome trim, but it is really dark blue, not comparable. Then there was, it was released an, an, another version of these, which is not the same color, is the light blue, also chrome trim, and it's really a very, very light blue. It, sometimes almost looks like silver or white and you can see it's really really lighter also the same kind of frosted finish then it was released this one that is very hard to find now the june bright something blue which was a special edition for japan a more greenish blue this one is has some green on it with chrome trim and gold trim i had both and I exchanged the gold trim one but you can see this one is lighter and the shade is a little different and finally the last pen that goes into this blue AL Sport kind of lineup is the Caveco AL Sport Skylucent from Pent so also from Japan very interesting pen but this one is very shiny let me compare both so this one has more green this one has more blue and you can see that one is shiny and one the other has a matte finish so is this color really similar to any to any other no it's not if i would say if it's more similar to one of those it would be to the june's june bride something blue let me take all these away and let's bring back the Lamy All Star and a Parker Centennial Do Fold for the size comparisons. And you can see, as I was telling in the beginning, the Caveco Sport is a short pen when it is closed compared with other two, which are full size pen. When you uncap a Lamy pen, you can use it posted. I don't really like to use it posted because it becomes too long, and I think it was meant. It was created to be used and posted. The Parker Centennial Loop Fold can also be posted, but I think it becomes very long. It doesn't post that securely and it's not comfortable to use that way and it was created to use and post it. The Kavec Sport was created to be used post because it is the way pocket pens are made. And so you will see that the Kavec Sport is a pen approximately with the same size as the Lamy and the Parker Centennial will fold. The difference, big difference, is the nib. This one has this Lamy kind of shaped nib with this... Uh, that's it, this kind of... Uh, I don't even know how to, how to call it. It's this kind of Lamy nib. Then you have the number 5 nib on the... Cavex Sport and you have a bigger round number 6 nib on the Parker Centennial Blue Fold. But the pens in total length are the same, so let's forget the idea the Cavex Sport is a short pen because it is only when it is uh, when it is kept so or unposted. So now let's go for the writing sample. And here we have pen and paper and let's start showing you the writing sample. So this is the problem with focus. Look at my finger focus here. So this is the Caveco collection Iguana Blue with a very nice smooth fine steel nib that works perfectly very smooth it has inside the ink is 
Leonardo Officina. I have problems with focus, as I told you before with this phone. I don't know why. Italiana. How is this called? Smeraldo Blue, which is a very beautiful ink that is really a good match with the pen. I think it's kind of a perfect match for this pen if you like to do that. I don't really care that much. Sometimes I, I think it's fun and I did it this time. And the paper is the usual Rodia dot pad, which is a paper that is good and I enjoy to make these videos. So what do we have to say about the nib? The nib is smooth. It has a little feedback, but it is very far away from being scratched. I don't know why Caveco nibs have a very bad reputation. I don't have that experience. Mine are good. I think this one is good, is smooth. Yes, it has some feedback, but not all pens are perfectly butter smooth as I guess you know. So I actually prefer pens with some feedback. It has feedback, but very, very, very small. Um, the flow is very good. The nib is a fine, it's very regular, so you don't see a line variation, the natural line variation. You can press it harder, and some nibs, this is where Kavek sometimes has some inconsistency, but I don't think it's really that problematic, is that this nib, compared with the nib that I reviewed previously, the, the one on the mellow blue, this one can have some line variation with less pressure. However, you still have to press it on the paper, not too much, but you have to press it to have this kind of line. So, um, it has more line variation, but it doesn't really make, make any difference in the end because you have to press it on paper. So it's not something that you do regularly and it's not advertised as a flex pen. So I don't think that's a really a problem. About reverse writing, you can do it, but there is almost no ink. It's not scratchy, but almost no ink getting into the paper. So what I have to say, I think that the pen is really nice. I like the weight of these metal Caveco pens and it writes well. I don't find any problem to it, not the ink flow, anything about this pen. And now I just want to make you, to show you the writing, a longer writing sam a sample for you to see and I will speed it up and then we'll end the video. So let's start. Okay, it's done. You can see, I think the line is very consistent. I think the pen works perfectly. The ink flow is good. There's something I didn't show you before. It is the, the wetness of the pen. It's not extremely wet because this is a fine nib and it's a real fine. So the ink flow is really good for this. And I think you can here see how well the pen performed. There's no doubt about that. I have just to say, because some pe sometimes people ask me that, what is this, uh, this kind of paragraphs that I write here? They are made of, the, these are paragraphs from my favorite book, which is called A Morte do Palhaço, from the author Raul Brandão. It is a Portuguese author, it is a, a book in Portuguese, as far as I know, this is not translated in any other languages, at least not in English. And these, it has some other books that are translated, this one is not. And so I'll always go back and this is a way that I can use some phrases to just to test the, the pens and they don't mean anything for most of you, but it is interesting for me to be able to copy a part of 
the text. So this is all that I have to show you. I have to thank you all again for watching, for keeping watching my videos. I have to thank Kaveco for sending me this pen for review. And again, if you like my videos, please share, like, subscribe. Don't forget to go, if you have Facebook, to go to the Facebook collect, uh, Kaveco Collectors and Users group. You can ask for membership and sometimes I take one day or two days to do that, but I will accept you there and the group is growing and there you can find lots of photos for comparisons and lots of stuff about Kavec pens. Not only Kavec Sport, not only modern Kavec pens and not only fountain pens. So there is lots of stuff to, to enjoy. So this is all I had to show you today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll be back for more videos like this soon. So, bye.